Well, hello. Hi, hello, Julie. Amy. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm very good. I want to introduce myself to those of you who are watching and participating. I'm Julie Halston. I'm a board member for the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation, and I'm also one of the creators of Broadway Belts for PFF, which is our live event that we've been doing for the last 10 years. And we were lucky, right, Amy, that in February of this year, we were able to have that live event. But as we all know, very soon after that, the world really did change and shut down. So it uh, looks like we'll be doing Broadway belts in a very different way. Yeah. Uh, and what we're doing, of course, Hi, Jerry. in all our events. Oh, hello, darlings, Jerry Webb, how are you? Uh, we're thinking of all these new ways to virtually uh, create community and also for fundraising. So. Um, now, people must know you, Amy Wadzala. I mean, you are Senior Development Director, but I know you as the woman who saves my life every time I have an issue. And oh, I that all the time. So you <laughs> save my life all the time. But we want to know where you're joining from, right? Let's. We let's do, we do. So all of you that are participating today and joining us live, leave us a comment. Tell us where you're joining us from and your team name, um, because this today and this weekend, Julie, we're celebrating Community Walk Weekend, um, and we're doing the so at-home well. edition. The at-home at edition. But exactly. we've got our we've got our swag on. We've got. I was our, just gonna say you look nice today. <laughs> I well, you know, I I love this. I I have to say it's perfect for fall. I, it I, is. It's very cute, and you can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with leggings. I mean, come on. It's cute. It's well, cute. It's we cute. were planning to do this, but since she's modeling it, and I'm, I'm now modeling. Um, um, this we is want to know newest. where everyone's from, and yeah. And yeah. So please, oh, Lake Hi, Anna. Anna, fantastic. Hi, Sam. Kurt, is it Curtin? Hi, Curtin. there he is. There he oh, is. My so I have, to, I have to tell you a little bit about Sam. We're, we're skipping ahead. Um, but Sam is one of our PFF ambassadors. He's one of our newest ambassadors. Hi, okay. Sam. Good to see you. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting with him back when I visited a support group um, in his hometown. Uh, oh, my gosh, almost a year ago. Um, but Sam is doing something super creative this year. He is fundraising and walking every single day in September. Um, oh, and Sam, if I'm getting this wrong, please tell me in the comments. Um, but he's walking every day in September and is using that as his fundraising campaign, which is super creative and just such a nice way to celebrate Pulmonary Fibrosis Awareness Month as well. Fantastic. And you know, one of the things that we are learning in this virtual world is that we can keep up this sense of community. And it's, you know, oh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Hi, Hi Holly. Holly. How it's are you? Fantastic. This is so great. And you know, one of the things I was most concerned about uh, are our friends on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And you know, they've really been dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, terrible uh, weather situations, certainly the wildfires and, you know, very, very scary, poor air quality. And then of course there was like tropical storms and flooding in the Southern area. And, you know, as we know, Amy, uh, this, really curtails, you know, people who have preconditions so that they can't go out. Well, hello from San Francisco. We're just actually oh talking God. about, about the, the West Coast. So yeah, we know that people on the West Coast particularly have been struggling with not even being able to go out because of the air quality. So we just want you to know we're with you. We're thinking of you. And that's one of the reasons we're so excited about um, fundraising today because we want to be able to really continue to help the patients and caregivers and researchers for pulmonary fibrosis. Yeah. So. And Julie, you bring up a great point. We celebrated our San Francisco walk last weekend. Um, and this is the first year we came to San Francisco. And obviously, it's a little bit different than we expected. Um, right. And our hearts go out to everyone on the West Coast who's battling the wildfires as well. Hi, Colleen. Um, and I'll, I'll come back to that one, I promise. Um, but Wendy, um, 
I just want to say a shout out to Wendy and her team. They are phenomenal. So she's part of Team Golden Gate Lungsters. I'm pretty sure she's the team captain of Golden Gate Lungsters. Lungsters. It is a um, support group out in the San Francisco area. Julie, you'll never believe what they raised. First year event, battling a pandemic, battling wildfires, have all sorts of challenges. And this team, raised $17,000 oh my God. for the PFF block. Oh my God. Isn't that amazing? No, that's, and, it is amazing. And we so, love, I mean, we do. wow, how did they do it? I'd love to know. They're amazing. They're um, amazing. So me, congratulations to you and your team. We are, we are so thankful for you and for what you do. And I got to circle back to my friend, Colleen. We know Colleen. Yes. Uh, you, there she is. Um, you know Colleen and Martin well since you've been on the board and um, both of them have been on the board. There they there are. They are. So Colleen and Martin both have personal connections, as you can see in their selfie signs. Um, and if you haven't seen them on our Facebook page, you have to jump in and check out. They did something uber creative this year. So they did a dance for the PFF to Kelly Clarkson's Catch My Breath. And they had these super cute green masks on and blue gloves to match our colors. Um, and they did this choreographed routine and it was so great. And not only did they go and do this, Colleen's foot is currently broken. So she okay. did this dance number in a chair to make it work. So, I mean, it really, it's, it's <laughs> the creativity fantastic. here is amazing. And you know, now speaking of, Facebook. You mentioned Facebook. And, oh, hi, Jen. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Jen from the Bay Area. Beautiful day today. That's good to hear. Um, one of the things we're very excited about, I'm going to mention it, Amy, is that we have a goal, right? We have a we goal. Do. It's $650,000. It's a lot of money. I understand. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but guess what? We're 80% there. I mean, hello. So here's right. the challenge for today and, you know, for these walks. We have 42,000 members on the Facebook, right? For the people. About, about 42,000 followers on our Facebook page. Okay. Think about this. If we could get the 42,000 followers just to give $10. Just ten dollars. Now I can't do math, but even I know one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. And yep. you gave twenty five dollars. I mean, we could raise a million dollars. We could. And that, that would just be. It would exceed our goal. But we're so close. So we're hoping. We're hoping today that people really feel the urge. Look at that. Donate at PFF Walk. Dot org. It's so simple. PFFWalk.org. Donate, donate. No donation too small or too large, but please feel free to donate. I know so many of you have been doing so many creative things and we want to take this over the top. We do. I, yes. Yes. And because of all of you guys, I mean, it's really been an extraordinary thing. Amy, you and I both also have personal connections. We do. And can you tell us a little bit about why you yeah, are involved? I can. So I have fundraised right along with you guys for the entirety of this program. Um, two years into my tenure at uh, Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation, uh, we found out that my grandma had pulmonary fibrosis. So I walk for her this year. Um, unfortunately, she passed away back in um, March, right when Chicago completely shut down. Mm. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I was very, very pregnant at the time. Um, poor Julie saw me waddling around at Broadway belts where we like barely made it through. Um, so I wasn't able to attend her funeral. Um, my dad said, no, Amy, you are not going. You're too right. high risk at the time. Right. Um, so this is my way to celebrate her and to honor her and to walk for her. And I got to do something I've never done before, Julie. I got to walk. Yeah. Which was so fun. It was fantastic. And what we were so happy about was that she did attend your wedding. Did she not? 
She did. She yes, did. and that really, that's so wonderful that she got to, to do that. You had such a beautiful wedding. Aww. And of course you now have a, a beautiful son. And I do. It all worked do. out. So, and I walk, there oh, he is, there's Tommy. There's my guy. There he's he is, Tommy. and he's wearing the colors. He's he is, he's wearing his hat, if you remember it from last time. Uh, that's right, look <laughs> at him, so cute. And I walk, for my late husband, Ralph Howard. Uh, Ralph, as you know, Amy, because you knew Ralph, uh, he was diagnosed in 2008 with pulmonary fibrosis. We had never heard of it. We didn't know a thing about it. We were in shock. The only thing that was going to extend his life was a lung transplant. We were lucky that in 2010, he did receive a life-saving lung transplant, but Ultimately, you know, after eight years, and I feel so blessed and grateful that I got an extra eight years with my Ralphie, um, he did succumb to complications of pulmonary fibrosis. But this is why I walk and I walk for Ralph. Um, yeah. Yes. So, uh, but we want to know why you are here. We what do. is the reason why you're here? And if you can, you know, please feel free to keep engaging with us and let us know uh you know why you're doing this you know uh people personally or uh, or maybe you are a patient or a caregiver um amy do you have headphones you no i do but they're not in here if okay I well, i'll continue to talk to everybody while you get your headphones all right deal i'll be right back all right that's okay hi there uh so what would one of the reasons why um we are so excited to engage with the community is we find out so many stories and some of the stories are similar and some of them are not. You know, PF extends to so many different people, people with family histories and whatnot. And we just wanna know if you can engage with us to tell us why you're participating. You walked in Longmont, Colorado today for my mother-in-law and my husband, Jennifer Kaufman. How are you? Thank you for Bernie's Breathing Brigade in New Hampshire has raised almost $6,000 for PFF. Oh my goodness. The By the way, uh, BTWGG Lungsters actually raised over $19,000. Patricia Fox, oh my God. And look at that adorable picture with that dog and there's amy back, I'm back. how are you I'm darling better. i'm good it's um, good people are sending us look i have raised money for pff in the last four years in memory of my dad bernie who had ipf and lung cancer that's stacy fillion yes. hi stacy uh and where is stacy do we know stacy where are you connecticut Stacey, if you're in Connecticut, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel good about this. I feel like she's on the East Coast. I am um, here for my dad, diagnosed in summer of 2019. He also suffers from dementia. Lisa Marie. Well, we're we're thinking of you, Lisa Marie. It does show I, everyone from around the country is here with us, Amy. It does. It does. And you know what? We have such dedicated fundraisers and volunteers. It's amazing. So like Stacy said, she's been doing this for a couple of years. Um, and Stacy, jump in and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is the most she's ever raised this year in this really unique year when live events aren't happening and when... Um, everything is just a little uncertain. We still have this dedication and this positivity from our walk participants and our fundraisers across the country. So Stacy, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. And four years is great. New Hampshire, oh, I was close. Oh, I'm sorry, Stacy. I thought I had it. Um, but we just, we continue to see enthusiasm from everyone participating. And I'm so glad to see so many of our walkers that have been doing this so long um, joining us today. Well, and you know what's so moving to me, Amy, is that this terrible pandemic, these terrible uh, respiratory issues that people are having with COVID-19, I think just brings up even further uh, the need for lung health. And Absolutely. this is one of the things that we are, you know, um, so concerned about with pulmonary fibrosis. Meredith Brown raised uh, money in honor of my dad. 
uh, who was diagnosed Aww. in 2017, celebrating his two year anniversary Yay. anniversary of his lung transplant. That's so wonderful. We love that. We love that. that. Thank is you, Meredith. Wonderful. That is great. And you know, I can also tell you as someone who, uh, Danielle Camarena. Oh, oh, Danielle, I'm sorry for your loss. So oh, that's so kind. Thank you for your support and thank you thank for that. You. And Danielle, thank you for sharing your story too. We're we're thinking of you and we so appreciate you being here today with us. Yes. And you know, that does happen a lot and it's very hard. That's why we have to keep fundraising and keep spreading the yeah. awareness because this is a disease that, you know, is 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 can be very deadly. And, right. you know, so right. we have, as you mentioned, we have ambassadors. We do. So we have tell, quite a few ambassadors. Tell people what a PFF ambassador is. So the PFF ambassadors are an extension of our staff. And if you ask me, they're even better. Um, and I see so many of you. Hi, Sam. Hi, Melissa. We're going to hear from a couple of them today. I know you guys are on. I know you guys are supporting. Our ambassadors are... Um, patients, they are lung transplant recipients, they are caregivers, they're healthcare professionals, they're all of these different populations um, that speak to different phases of the PF journey, if you will. And they go out and they share their stories. They do this at support groups, at conferences, at um, team meetings, and they talk about what their experience is like. And they help so much in raising awareness and creating visibility for the disease and really putting a face to the cause. Um, and this year, there are so many of them that are joining in our fundraising efforts and have done just some really significant, incredible work. Um, and we're so thankful to have them. Well, we're going to meet them very shortly. But one thing I wanted to talk a little bit about is one of our biggest, biggest supporters, and that is the company of Genentech. And they have been not only supportive in terms of their the corporation, which is a pharmaceutical, but I believe they also had their own team. They right? did. They even yes. So they if did. you can tell us a little bit about that, and I think we also have a film to share. We do. So we love the creativity that we're seeing this year. You know, obviously we can't be together, um, but we are really coming together virtually and still finding these opportunities to connect. And our friends at Team Gen on Tech did this so, so well. They're our national presenting sponsor, but they also have a bunch of teams across the country. They have these like regional teams that have all done fundraising for us and they've raised over $4,200. Isn't that incredible? It's fantastic. And it's I incredible. have a, a, a special shout out to Genentech because they come to Broadway Belts every year. I, I often sit at their table and they, they laugh at all my jokes. So <laughs> I love They're Genentech for, for many reasons, personal and also because of what they are doing. They've just been an incredible sponsor and we want to Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I think we actually can hear from them themselves. We do. All right. Hi there. I'm coming to you from Alexandria, Virginia, where I'm getting ready to run on the Mount Vernon Trail. I'm super excited to be with you today virtually, representing Team Genentech in order to celebrate the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation and all of the walks taking place across the country, helping to raise awareness and funds. This year, we are all working together by staying apart, and Team Genetic is grateful for the opportunity to sponsor and participate in the virtual walks. I'm in San Francisco, showing my support by walking the Golden Gate Bridge. I would like to thank the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation for making these special events possible to raise awareness and funds to sustain vital programs that help support people with pulmonary fibrosis and their families across the country. Today, I am in Dallas, Texas, and I am so thankful for all of you for participating. I know many of you can attest to the importance of PFF support. I'm in Arlington, Virginia supporting the cause by masking up and going for a walk in the park with my family. We are staying safe and having fun for a good cause.
PFF provides patients, their caregivers, and the healthcare professionals who treat them the resources they need to manage the physical and emotional impact of pulmonary fibrosis. I'm proud to be part of Team Genentech here in Pewaukee, Wisconsin to support their cause. At Genentech, we recognize PFF's critical role in the community and are honored to be participating with them from around the community, including Michigan, where I am from. PFF has been a leader in providing this type of assistance and helping lead the way towards a world without pulmonary fibrosis. Thank you from Fresno, California, where I'm trying to stay cool from the Central Valley heat. Wishing you the best from San Antonio and a huge thank you for participating and for your support of the pulmonary fibrosis community. So wherever you're from and however you're raising awareness for PFF, remember, stay safe, wear a mask, socially distance, stay active, and have fun. That was beautiful. I think from all across the country. And they just, it's just fantastic. It's wonderful. And they just show how you can still participate and all these different ways to get engaged. And I just have to wave to my friend, Jen. I saw your comment earlier. Um, Jen is just a wonderful, wonderful person to work with. And we're just so thankful for Genentech's support as the national presenting sponsor this year. They really are fantastic. And, you know, I'm just going to, you know, keep the thought going that please, please consider donating today. Yes. We're trying to reach our goal of $650,000, which yes, it's a big number, but guess what? We're 80% there. We are. 80%, it's so close. And we Julie- 20% 20, 20 more. We do, and Julie, the, and people are just fundraising like crazy right now. I mean, from when we, so let me just lift the curtain. We had a rehearsal yesterday. Yes. Uh, and from rehearsal <laughs> yesterday, we raised like $6,000 overnight, um, which is amazing. Isn't that that cool? is fantastic. Yeah. And that was a rehearsal. <laughs> I was. Um, so we've just seen so much enthusiasm. And tell us in the comments how you're participating in this program. I know we have so much creativity going on this year. How are you participating? So we have um, our Chicago walk and our San Francisco walk already um, happened to within the last two weeks. But we know people are still walking for those walk sites. Community Walk Weekend is upon us. It's here. And then our DC walk is scheduled for October 10th. Our um, Dallas walk is scheduled for October 24th. So we still have all of these opportunities for people to participate whenever it's convenient for them. Well, I think uh, one of the things that you wanted to talk about was Melissa King. I saw she had a comment come in. There we go. Hi, Melissa. So Melissa is doing something really creative this year. Um, she also came and spoke at our Chicago walk in 2018. And I just had the pleasure of meeting her and her daughter. They are just lovely, wonderful, warm and welcoming humans. Uh, they're so great. And Melissa is doing something super creative. So she's up in upstate New York um, near um, Niagara Falls. Wow. And she helped to get Niagara Falls turned blue and green for us. And also went and passed out. There she is. Hi, Melissa. Um, oh she went God. and passed out balloons with the, our new PFF cards on them um, to educate people on what pulmonary fibrosis is. So she's doing fundraising. She's building awareness. She's getting things to go blue in um, September for Pulmonary Fibrosis Awareness Month. And I just thought it was so creative what her campaign looked like. I can't believe she got the falls to go blue and green. That is extraordinary. That is just wonderful. Right. And I can see that she is definitely using her oxygen. And uh, that's another thing that we're so, so concerned about. We want to make sure, particularly in this very difficult time, and another reason why we want to make sure that we have the money, because people sometimes don't get their oxygen in a timely manner. And it's very, you know, upsetting, obviously. So that's one of the things we're also working on. So yeah. thank you, Melissa, for being so out there. And so what a creative, fantastic thing. And, Isn't you know, great? our patients and our caregivers, our researchers, the docs, the board, all you working at PFF, I've done a lot of charity work, but I've never been so committed to uh, 
to a cause. And obviously it's because of my personal connection, but it's also because the people that work at the PFF are extraordinary. And so I just want to say a thank you to all of you. Um, we just got a thank you. Fr Francesca just donated $25. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Francesca. Uh, and now I think we would like to meet some of those PFF ambassadors. I They're think we extraordinary would. people. So why don't we bring them on? Yeah. I think our first one is, you know her. I do. I know her well. So I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. She is a PFF ambassador emeritus. So um, she is transitioned off, but we still always welcome them. And she has an incredible story. It's a positive, uplifting, wonderful attitude. Um, I'm lucky to have her on our team. I'm lucky to call her a friend of mine. I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Heather Cagle. There, there you are. <laughs> Hi, Heather. How are you? Good. How are you, Julie? Good. And now you can hear me, right? I can hear you. I couldn't hear you. I was panicking. I was like, how am I going to know? <laughs> no need to panic. No need to panic. Ruby Locknor, our tech director, is a whiz. Everything. Yeah. Um, Heather, tell us a little bit about the creation of Ready, Set, Breathe. That was the walk that you created yeah. in Dallas. Tell us a little bit about your story, why, how, and sure. and what you've been doing. Sure. So I was diagnosed with IPF. Mine is familial. Um, I have a genetic mutation that caused the IPF. Um, and that was in 2013. And in 2018, or 2017, I should say, we were part of this, was the inaugural PFF walk in Chicago. And um, it was a beautiful weekend. It was my birthday weekend. Um, I was turning 50. I had like, this was a new time, new changes. And um, I got to speak at the inaugural walk <laughs> and Sam, <laughs> he's so funny. And, yeah. and, and that was really a moving um, opportunity for me. It, I hadn't been in a, a venue before where there were so many patients and caregivers and health professionals in one spot. And I just felt at home. I felt like I could talk to anybody there and they understood what we were going through and our challenges and yes. it was so inspiring. And so my husband was running through the streets of Chicago through the park the next morning and came back and said, you know what? We can do this in Dallas. And I'm like, wait, wait, do what? What can we do in Dallas? Yeah, so yeah. Run, absolutely, you know? And he was like, no, we can do a, a, a PFF walk in Dallas. And, um, so we, we thought, okay, we'll do it. And, um, you know, a lot of times you make these great plans and then they go by the wayside, but we did not let go of it. And we pushed forward and our family was instrumental. It was a total family effort. Um, and we designed t-shirts and we got a sponsor to, uh, you know, give hats for, we called the walk ready set breed. It's adorable. That's a wonderful hat. That's just I, great. I love it. And I was going to wear it, but then you really couldn't see my face. Right. Oh, there we are. There Look we are. at that. There's my son, my um, husband, my ex-husband, who's a part of the family and helps us all the time. My daughter, Samantha, and her friend, Jace. Fantastic. And and there we are at the finish. So it was um, all of my close friends and we built, everybody built teams and we just kept getting bigger and bigger. And our initial goal was 25,000. And then we easily got that. We went to 50,000 and we ended up making a little bit over $65,000. And that was amazing. Like for a walk that we just thought, how do we do this? And we had sponsors help us and friends pitch in and DJ and another friend got us a finish line. And um, it, we really did it at very little cost. And um, I think the only cost was the t-shirts that we got. Um, right. And so out of that came something big. And I think everybody was surprised <laughs> very pleasantly at how well it went. And then it's the fantastic. Year, yeah. And we were ready to do it the, in the next year. That was 2018. And in 2019, PFF asked, can we make this part of the PFF walk? And we said, absolutely. Like that just gets a bigger audience and more eyes on what we can do. But the real message of that is, we can do this. Like it's individual. We can't rely on the PFF to do all of the fundraising. It starts Correct. with us. And we are, we are uh, an evidence that 
you can take that idea and you can make it happen. And can I tell you, Heather, when we started our Broadway belt situation, it was in a, a, a cabaret club. Then it became so big, we had to move. Uh, it started basically as a memorial service for a dear friend of ours who had passed from pulmonary fibrosis. But just at that same time, my husband, who was also very friendly with uh, Michael Kushwara, um, who was a drama critic, he was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. So it was this strange confluence across, you know, and we just decided to put together a memorial service. We never thought it would do anything more than just have this little service. Yeah. In that service, at that club, we raised $40,000 and we were just gobsmacked by that. And then we were asked by the PFF, hey, did, did you, do you ever think you'd want to do this again? And, you know, we weren't sure. We didn't know, right. you know. But then when my husband was diagnosed, I said, I'm in for life. Yeah. This is my mission now. And um, we've raised over the last 10 years over $2 million. So we're, we're just thrilled to be a part of it. And how are you feeling these days, Heather? Well, I had a lung transplant last August, so I'm coming up on my one year anniversary and I feel very, um, October, not August. My med, my meds of fashion, my meds. Yes, of course. So I'm up in October and, um, but I feel fantastic and I'm energized and I'm really bummed that, you know, the stupid coronavirus is, is taking everyone out because I was so looking forward to doing this walk without oxygen this year and just, going full force because I have the strength and, and the breath now to do it. So I'm very fortunate. I'm so grateful to my donor. I'm so grateful to my family who has nursed me all through this. Again, a family effort to, to, to get me here, but I'm feeling great. And, and team ready set breed. So we're not the, the ready set breed walk anymore, but we have kept that team. Great. Uh, those people who supported us so strongly. And so all of you team ready set breed out there, they're listening. We've got to get this team bigger. We're slacking this year. So. Well, and believe me, Heather, you're going to be, you are going to do that walk next year. I guarantee it. You look terrific. Thank you're you. energized. You're, you just, you're in it. You're in it to win it and you are winning it. So that's the really great news. We're going to see you walking next year and we'll all be there. So, but in the meantime, we have people donating now. We have people here. We're part of a community. I believe we just got $100 from Carol. Yes. And thank yes, you. thank you, Carol, for your $100 donation. That's Maybe awesome. some others would like to give $100 to the most worthy cause. And Absolutely. Heather, we want to thank you also for doing all this extraordinary work, this mm -hmm. fundraising. Do you have any tips for people who are possibly interested in doing this kind of activity? Do you have any tips? So the, the first tip is to reach out to people you know and see what they can do to help. I mean, I had no idea some of our friends had the connections they had. And so we put a list out. We said, we need a DJ. We need a photographer. We need a finish line. We need some snacks and some fruit and um, a tent. And it, it all showed up. And it was just people who knew people who donated their time or their, or their equipment and it was amazing like we would have had to pay several thousand dollars for right what we were given and people being willing to help and so put a list out there say i am building a walk and however big you want it maybe you want a small neighborhood walk and so you know trader joe's will always donate you know fifty dollars worth of water right. and apples. they're good for right. that so it's just asking and and really people rarely say no because it's a good cause so absolutely and and here's the thing what i'm finding and i have found over the last 10 years heather and i'm i, I have a feeling in the la next 10 years you're going to find this out oh, too people want to help they do they, they don't want to help. help so when yes. you them a specific ask they will find the way to help absolutely say, i can i can do that they never would have thought to do it before but they're like oh a dj I know what yeah, you did. Yeah, exactly. And 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 they and they helped, and you know they wouldn't have ever walked around and say, "Hey, do you need a DJ by chance?" Right, right. 
So yeah. I so I think it's just a matter of saying to people, hey, you know what? I'm going to have a little confidence here. It takes a little confidence, it does. but it's for a great cause. And to ask people, you know, I know it's some people are very shy. I'm not shy. You know, I'll, I'll call anyone. I'll, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll ask anyone. Um, but a lot of people are shy. And it's always a little awkward asking people. Right you know, can you give us some money or can you give us some snacks or whatever? Mm -hmm. They want to help. It's a great cause. So we're urging everyone to be a little bold, be a little fearless, because guess what? It's so worth it. You have a lung transplant. You're doing so much better. Yeah. You're breathing on your own. Isn't that the gift of life? So I have family that have the same mutation and God forbid it, it, the IPF hits them. We need the research. We need the treatments. We need a cure. And and I will fight this forever because me too. It doesn't end with me. And I have so many people I love out there. So many other ambassadors and patients I've met through these activities. And everybody deserves that chance. It, Everyone deserves to breathe freely. They do. They yes. Do. So yes. I, I will fight forever for this. Me too. It's my life's mission. Well, this has been so extraordinary, Heather, and we're so. We're so happy for you. We're so proud and you, we're so grateful for your contribution. My so, pleasure. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. All and right. there, there, yes. Thank you. Thank you. So thank Amy, you, what, what's up next? I think you want to pull in some people. I do. And I just want to say thank you again to Heather, um, her She's and her fantastic. family. They're incredible. Yes. Um, but here's who I really have to shout out for a second. Heather is great. She's wonderful. Um, she's, She's great. Rick, her caregiver and her husband is such a hero as well. Like shout out to all the caregivers out there. He is incredible um, and was really a driving force behind their event as well. And, you know, it was such a family affair. And what Heather said that spoke to me the most is that, you know, she's obviously a patient and has had a lung transplant, but she does this for all of her friends out there. Yeah. Um, and before I even had a personal connection, I was so invested in this because of all of the people who are commenting today. Yeah. I mean, I just, I hold a special place in my heart for each and every one of you. I truly do. Um, and I, this has been the joy of my career, working with all of these families across the country. They're incredible, Julie. Like you can attest to this with Bobby too. I absolutely know. And it's so important to have that support, to have, like you say, Rick, uh, has been so extraordinary and pushing her forward and getting her to be motivated. And I was very lucky uh, that I had my stepchildren got very involved with the care. Uh, uh, my stepdaughter, Lindsay, and my stepdaughter, Nicole, and Noel, and Nathan, Jillian, they, they all came forth. Um, I know so many times uh, Nicole or Lindsay, particularly, I had to go to work or do something. And particularly in the beginning stages of Ralph's um, lung transplant, they would just come and, and take care of their dad. And it was so helpful to me. So it really, it, it does take a village, a village. Near the village of the PFF. And so we are thankful. So thankful. We are. And, and please I wanted keep to bring commenting. In we yeah. did. So there were a couple that I saw that came through. So please keep commenting. Tell us where you're walking. Tell us how you're participating. Tell us your story. Um, so I saw a couple come through that I want to tell you about. Okay. Tell me. Uh, so Melissa Wheeler, I know you're there. I saw you. I saw you. Melissa oh, Wheeler. So Melissa Wheeler, she says Heather's her hero, but actually Heather is her nemesis when it comes to the PFF walk and fundraising. These two are both of my Dallas ladies and they compete with each other like you wouldn't believe. Oh, Last okay. year, they both raised more than $20,000 for the Dallas walk. Isn't that great? Um, Melissa is down in Dallas right now. Melissa, I see you. I hope you are doing well. She's recovering from a lung transplant as well. So okay. um, she's fantastic and I know is ready to get back out there. She's an endurance athlete, used to do her marathons with her oxygen. Um, she's so great. I think we have a photo of her team. I feel like my team was working there. There, oh there she is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my There they goodness. are. 
Oh, so they are oxymoron. Um, wow. I wish I had my sweatshirt, Heather, I sh or Melissa, I should have grabbed it and brought it up here. I have a sweatshirt of their team and she's just fantastic. Um, and, and what about wonderful. Debbie Herden? Debbie Herndon. Hi, Debbie. So Debbie is one of our PFF ambassadors, and she also does a community walk in her hometown of Boise, Idaho. And Debbie is one of those people that literally does it all for the PFF. She fundraises. She's an ambassador. She tells her story. She's a support group leader. She um, is involved in our advocacy work. She goes and she tells her story to um, officials to move our mission along and make sure that pulmonary fibrosis and the needs of our patients are front and center when decisions are being made. Um, and she is just a ray of sunshine. It is so incredible. All of these people across the country are just great. Debbie raised, um, oh gosh, I should know this. We pulled her total. She's raised almost $30,000, I believe. Oh um, my goodness. Yeah. She's been doing her event in Boise. It's called Breathapalooza. How fun is that? I love it. I, I love know. It. That's fantastic. Um, and she, yes. Yeah, so she's raised just right around $30,000. She started the same year that we started the PFF walk in Chicago back in 2017. It's uh, never, too not too kind. You're too kind, Debbie. And you know what's so great is the absolute creativity that Isn't it? people are bringing forth with all the different walks, all the different um, ideas that they're having. And of course, now that we're living virtually, um, not that I'll plug my little show, but you know, you. you know, I uh, give a portion of my um, tips to uh, the PFF and uh, you know, my YouTube show, Virtual Halston. And I have to say it was not something that I was really interested in doing. You know, my my producer, Jim Caruso, kept saying, you should do a talk show. You should do a talk show because I like to talk, um, as people can see. But <laughs> I use my hands. But I was like, no, no, I don't know how to do this. And, you know, on the computer. Anyway, the show is a hit. We have 10,000 live stream people all the time. It's so great. And, and a portion goes to the PFF. And, you know, it was really Jim who said, that's your mission. Why not do this? So that's what we do. And of course, we'll still consider Broadway belts. We're you know, going to be thinking creatively about how to do this. But we're so excited that all the people across the United States are figuring out how to do this. Because let's face it, the, the needs of the patients and caregivers does not go away in a pandemic. Right. Anything, it gets more urgent. So that's it why does. we need you. And that's why I'm saying, help us get that 20%. Yes, We're so close please. to our goal. We are yeah. getting there. We $25, $50, $100. If you have $500, I say go to Turtle Creek and get some people in Turtle Creek to get $500. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that kind of a ritzy section of Dallas? I think it is. Um, so anyway, donate at PFF Walk. Dot org. This is so great. And now we have another ambassador and we're going to hear another story, Amy. We're going to hear another story. So this is a newer <laughs> friend of mine, but she's been a friend of the foundation for years. Um, I'm so excited to introduce you to someone who has taken initiative in her own community. Um, she'll tell you a little bit about, more about her story and how she's impacted, but um, she started a walk in her community and her brother did at the same time. So she has one, he has one, they called it Two Cities, One Cause. How fun is that? Two Cities, One Cause, that's fantastic. Um, and I'll let her tell you how much she's raised because it's incredible. Um, and I'm I'm so lucky to have her as part of the organization. I'd like to introduce you to June McConnell. There she is, jo June, Hi. how are you? It's so good to see you. It's great to see you too, Julie. I want, I want to, to make sure that everyone sees your... My beautiful nails. Your beautiful nails. Yeah. I love that you have those blue nails. It's so gorgeous. You look terrific. So tell us a little bit about your story, June. Um, I was talking to you yesterday and I was so moved and so uh, delighted to meet you. And I just think your story is incredible. And I, I think a lot of people would like to hear it. 
Well, so I have to give a little bit of background. I have a brother, um, Amy mentioned that, my brother and I were both diagnosed in the same month within a week of each other of, of IPF. And so um, we are two out of six children. And so, um, you know, we both have large families and you can imagine how devastating that was for our families. And so we talked a lot, tried to, you know, help each other navigate through this diagnosis. And um, during one of the conversations, I mentioned to my brother that, you know, I was on the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation website and they have this thing, this community walk, and maybe we can do something, you know, like you do it in Denver and I'll do it here in Olympia and we'll see if we can pull something together. And um, that's kind of how it, how it started. And then I, we reached out to the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation and working with Jackie and Amy, we were able to do our first annual um, Two Cities, One Cause last year. Mm -hmm. And we just finished up our second annual Two Cities, One Cause this year. And um, we're excited to say that we've raised almost $15,000 for the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. But the great, the, the other part of that is, um, I also have a sister-in-law who lives in Anchorage. She has scleroderma and so has pulmonary fibrosis based on scleroderma. And she's gonna join us next year. We're already planning our third annual, two cities, but it won't be two cities by then. It's gonna be three cities, one cause, because so we'll be doing it in Denver, we'll be doing it in Olympia, and we'll be doing it in Anchorage. So we're really excited to, to get moving with that as well. And you know, I, people have been talking about the pandemic and how that has, you know, kind of put a damper on things for some people. But um, I, I, I have to give credit to Jackie Williams from the PFF because she's the one that kind of kept us moving and, and, and helped us to kind of think out of the box to get how we could do this this year with in, in, in light of COVID. And this year alone, we raised almost $10,000. And so it's just been, it's been fabulous. We did neighborhood walks. People did their own little walk in their own area. And we had people river rafting. We had people doing pickleball. We had people um, doing bike rides. We had people doing all kinds of things. Wait, what is pickleball? So pickleball, that was my brother who did that one. Pickleball is kind of like tennis, but um, I really don't know a lot more about it than that. But they, um, he and his his wife and another couple and their son did play pickleball to raise money. And um, of course, their son did much better than everybody else. And my brother <laughs> just said that that's all I can tell you is Connor did the, Connor did great. <laughs> well, that is fantastic. And I know that this has now become a big family situation, but you and I did speak a little bit about the fact that you would like to get on that list. Yes. Absolutely. And let's talk a little bit about that lung transplant list. So okay. So I am probably a couple of weeks away from being referred. I have a doctor's appointment in a couple of weeks and um, I am got my fingers crossed that I'll get a referral. And then from that referral, then I'll be evaluated to determine whether I'll have, be eligible for a lung transplant or not. So it's my hope that if everything goes well, that either the third annual or possibly the fourth annual Two Cities, One Cause, I will be doing a lot like Heather that who just talked. Heather was talking about how she's eager to get out there and, and do her walk without any oxygen. And that's my hope as well. It to me, it is going to happen. This is this is. I don't even doubt it. You are. You look terrific. Uh, I know you've been working hard to get in really good shape because it is important to have general good health. A lot Absolutely. of people do not get a lung transplant unless they are in good general health. And I was very grateful that my husband was in good general health. Uh, but, you know, the PF was really in both lungs and it was very, very difficult. It uh, is. He really had a hard time. But the minute he did get a, a new lung and we, of course, under, people have to understand that, you know, lungs don't grow on trees. This is a very, very delicate and fragile situation. 
and uh, which is always why I'm always telling people to get on the donation list, you know, donate organs. Um, but it made an exponential difference in our lives. And June, I'm telling you, you you're going to get it. And we want to hear, we want to hear from you that. the minute you get it or have your brother tell us. And your brother has a more slow growing PF or? So, yeah, we, 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 it's a, it's amazing how we, we paralleled after our diagnosis. Um, he lives in Denver, which is a, a little bit different elevation. I'm at sea level. Right. And so, you know, that, that elevation has a lot to do with your oxygen needs. And yeah. my oxygen needs are a lot greater, but we, we oftentimes compare our pulmonary function tests. Yes. Uh, and based on pulmonary function tests, mine is progressing a little faster than his. So yeah, he's doing really well. We're very excited about how he's, he's, he has not had any significant change in over a year. So yay. yay Rick. Yeah. How do you stay so active and positive, you know, even though you have this, this situation? I mean, one thing obviously is that you are hoping for this transplant, okay. but how do you on a daily basis? Just well, I think I think Julie, there's probably a couple of things. One is I have I made a commitment to an exercise routine, you know, and being able to to stick with that. I know that that's a huge difference in my breathing, yes. and then staying connected with my family. And I just recently um, was blessed with a granddaughter. Oh, and so that's something that has been a big part of my life. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, she's six weeks old. And that that's a, an amazing motivator for me. Oh, yes. I was showing earlier. I was showing Amy. And by the way, there was a, also a shout out to Jackie Williams. And Jackie uh, has she's another one who saves my life every day because I always have something that I have to ask them. And they're just so incredible. But that's my, my little Hazel May. Oh, she, right. I mean, that's a, one of the my grandchildren. She's and beautiful. She's so beautiful. I could just, ugh. So that's a motivator. Well, right I will show you mine. This is oh, my granddaughter. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. She's oh, just, she my is just the love of our lives. And we Absolutely. just can't get enough of her. Well, yeah. there you go. That's a great way to stay positive. Yeah. So she's my motivator for, for moving towards that lung transplant. That is so fantastic. I really mean it, June. You have to, you have to be in touch with us. Absolutely. And tell us, um, you've, you're, uh, you raised how much and what's your goal and what was your goal and how did you achieve it? And so initially the, our first year we set out, we thought 5,000 seems kind of lofty for our first annual, but we made it. We did, we did 5,200 our first year. And then this next year we thought, you know what, we know we're going to do more, but let's just shoot for 10,000 in spite of the fact that we're doing this, you know, in, in the COVID crazy times. Right. And not thinking that we would even come close. And this year, right now, we are at 92, almost $9,300. And, you know, I, one of my hopes is that with the September is Pulmonary Fibrosis Awareness Month, that we can reach that 10,000 goal before the end of September. So we'll see. Okay. Well, I'm telling everyone right now, make, it, make, make June's day. You betcha. Make my day. Make June's Absolutely. day and come through. We want to, we want that 10,000. Well, June, what a pleasure to meet you. And I, I really want to stay in touch. And obviously I can tell you a lot about lung transplant. And when you do get your lung, you can always call me. All right. I, I will do that. Really. Yes. Always. Thanks so much. Thank you. And I think we have Amy back. Isn't she unbelievable? How about Isn't a she great? daughter? I know. So fantastic. And oh, thank you. The Atwell Robbins family, our silver sponsor. Bill Barry, thank you for our a silver sponsor. I just want to let people know that if you are inclined to donate, which I hope you are, mm -hmm. pffwalk.org. Okay. Julie, I'm going to up the ante. Yeah. 
So you don't even know this. This is happening as we were interviewing. So oh. I have, oh, there's Tommy. <laughs> oh, there um, you go. There's Tommy. Um, I have people texting me on my personal cell phone right now uh, that is sitting on my lap. And while we were away, um, I got a text from Scott. So Scott Stasek okay. works for the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. He has been with us for, oh my gosh, six or seven years. I should be able to do this off the top of my head. It's been so long, I can't even count anymore. I was going to say, I think more. Um, go ahead. And he is really motivated by what is going on today and all the comments that he's seen and all the engagement that we're getting from our walkers across the country. And he just texted me and said, um, I want to donate another $500 to the walk, but I want it matched. Okay. So okay. my friend Scott is throwing up a match. $500. We're going to do it. It's going to be easy. We're going to do it. Okay. $500 is going to get matched right here in real time. I literally did not know about this. Um, it came through on my cell phone just a few minutes ago. And Scott is wonderful, but is also personally affected by the disease. So he sent me a text and he is not only motivated by this, but he's in Michigan this weekend. They have a lake house up there. It's beautiful. It's in the same town where he grew up and he wants to donate in memory of his mother who passed away from pulmonary fibrosis, um, I believe right after he started. So it's been a little bit of time, but he's just fantastic. So who's going to be in on our $500? We're going to match who's it. Who's going to be our $500 match? We know you're out there. We know you can do this. It's for the greatest cause. Uh, we just know. Now, let me let me ask you this. How will we find out? Will they be uh, letting us know and we'll pull it up? Or will they so text my, my team is in the comments telling me who's jumping on and donating. OK, um, so we see it. We see you. And it's going to be a $500 match. Um, all gifts count. You can give a dollar. You can give five hundred dollars. You can give five hundred thousand dollars if you want. Like, let's get wild. You um, can give a thousand dollars. You can. You give, can. Yes. Or you can give five dollars. Whatever right. feels comfortable for you to help us get there. And we so appreciate everyone's support and enthusiasm. And um, can I, Meredith? Meredith All right, Taylor, so this works out really well. So let me tell you a little bit about my friend Meredith Taylor. Meredith Taylor works for the PFF as well. Okay. Um, we are running an internal fundraising contest. Have I told you about this, Julie? It's so fun. You mentioned it. Um, okay. Uh, Wait, we will Colleen do and Martin, oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, so we are doing an internal fundraising contest. Meredith. I love her, but every year she beats me. I don't know how she does it. She's just our top fundraiser every single year. She's so great. Um, but our team is super committed. So I love working with our donors and our volunteers and all these great people across the country. But I also love my job so much because I love my team. They're incredible. I know June was just talking about Jackie. She's great. I know some of you have worked with Sarah. She's fantastic. Um, but we have this really, really committed group of people. So for our fundraising contest this year, Meredith, again, is leading the charge. Scott has been um, so supportive. SJK, Seth, Jeremy Klein, I see you. I saw your donation. Thank you so much for that. Um, and Julie, our team, the PFF staff, right? The collectively, staff. we've raised. You ready for this? Yes. We've raised more than twelve thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Isn't oh that cool? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Really? Yes. I thought you were going to say something like four thousand, but twelve. Nope. We've raised twelve thousand dollars. And we raise more than 10 a year. So every year wow. since we've started this, it's been about 10 grand. Um, because we so just, hard. we care so deeply about each and every one of you who's joining us today. And um, we just, we want to make a difference for you. And that's how committed we are. So my friend Scott threw up a challenge. Let's throw up the banner again. Where can you yeah. donate? Where can you donate? Org. We're yeah. going to We're gonna match it. We're going to match $500. Five hundred dollars. Come yes. on, there's got to be people. For some reason, I'm thinking about Turtle <gasps> Creek. Wait, what? I don't see. You see it. the comment? No. What's the comment? Where's my friend Patricia Fox? What? Yay! Patricia, 
Oh my, so Julie, wait, I got, we got to go back for a second. Just did it, $500. Patricia, wait, oh my gosh. Picture. I got to so, see the picture. The Patricia, picture is incredible. It's a little puppy. Hi puppy. Yes. Um, Patricia jumped on earlier and corrected me and I so appreciate it because Patricia is, I mean, just incredible. She has raised so much money for this program. She's part of our Golden Gate Lungsters. Oh, okay. That have raised more than nineteen thousand dollars, and with Patricia's five hundred dollar donation, does that push my Golden Gate Lungsters? Uh, I'll put up another. If this oh, group will oh, match five hundred, oh. I'll put up another five hundred dollar match oh, on my oh. walk. Oh, are we oh, doing God. it again? Oh my God, guys! If oh, this group will match five hundred dollars, I will put another five hundred match up on my walk. Oh my goodness, wow. we're gonna we're gonna get that goal. Oh, so, Sam, thank you so much. So my Golden Gate Lungsters are probably close to $20,000 right now for our PFF Walk San Francisco. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and, um, and all that San Francisco has gone through, and they are still so committed. It's so fantastic. Isn't it incredible? It really is incredible. But I want to move to our, our third uh, PFF ambassador, because we do yes. have another ambassador and she's we just do. a dynamo. And I want to move, uh, I want to get her in there because she, she's got a great I'll story. And listen Melissa to Wheeler. Dollars, you see, there you go. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Stephanie Golden? I can. So Stephanie Golden is one of our newer ambassadors. She is fantastic and just full of energy. She's got a little one as well. So we're all connected by these little ones. Yes. Um, and she is um, in Dallas. She uh, walks with her, her family every year. You might have seen them on our Facebook page mm, probably about a week ago. Um, or so we posted how they're all getting involved in the walk this year. Like I said, they'll be walking um, next month for our Dallas walk on October 24th. Um, and I'm so thrilled that she's able to join us today. Introducing my friend, Stephanie Golden. There you are. Hi, Stephanie. Boy, the pressure's on. <laughs> yes, yes. You look terrific. You sound terrific. Tell us what made it motivated you to be a PFF ambassador. Tell us your story, Stephanie. Yes. Hi, Julie, and thank you for this opportunity once again. Uh, I am doing this for my mom, Olga, who we lost to pulmonary fibrosis, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in October of 2018. And so she is my, uh, my motivator, my motivation, and just why I'm committed to raising awareness about this disease, this dreadful disease, and also with the funds to find a cure. Yes, yes. Not only the treatments, but a cure ultimately. Yes. And so how did, what did you do? How did you start thinking, oh, I might be able to raise a little money and you went to your family and, and what did you do? Well, we established a team and we call it Team Olga. And we are also in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, more on the Fort Worth side than Dallas. Right. And last year was our first year to uh, participate in the walk. And um, we raised some money. But uh, like I said, the pressure's on now. We hope to uh, um, triple that. And I'm going to contribute to that new $500. Oh, there we are. There you are. There's the team. Oh, my gosh. What an attractive team. You're Thank all gorgeous. You. You're all oh. gorgeous. Well, we had our team uh, picture of mom in the center. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. It was fun last year. That was great. So oh, you're all gorgeous. You look like movie stars. <laughs> well, one of them is a model, and it's not me in there, but um, my co captain, my niece, Olivia, is the uh, team, is the gorgeous one in the picture. And that child that Amy mentioned, it's actually Olivia's daughter. She's my great niece, and oh. her name. Gianna, and so we're very happy to have her in the family. Yes, yeah. the circle continues. So right. what I think is so great is that you started this, you know, and you started, like you said, small. You raised, I don't, I don't what, what did you raise? <laughs> we're, we're talking in the hundred range. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you started <laughs> small, but then you committed to doing it again. Yes, now we, we are... Uh, because we don't walk until next month, right. physically in um, 
October for the Dallas Walk. Um, we, we, we know that sometimes when feet are held to the fire and we're right toward, you know, it's do or die, um, we're hoping to really kick it up here starting this week uh, yeah. through the end of October. So anyway, like I said, the pressure is on. President, well, you know, we, when when they first told me that, you know, they wanted to raise six hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I thought they were out of their minds. Yeah. I, I said, you know, do you understand that people don't have money? Right. This is a very tough time right now for everyone. And mm -hmm. particularly here in New York City, we've had, um, you know, not only a terrible situation with so many people uh, getting mm -hmm. sick and dying and whatnot. But uh, economically, it's been very, very tough. Sure. We're doing better now. But they said, Julie, we're already 80% there. And when they told me that, I was so excited. And I said, OK, well, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And you know, the thing that I've learned, just you keep chipping away. That's right. Chipping away. And you know, one person gives $10, another person gives $10, then someone gives 20 then right. somebody gives 30. And do you know what I mean? And it just right. keeps chipping away. That's and right. suddenly you have $500. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, you know, that's how we're going to tackle it in this moment of the home stretch and the heat is on. We're going to just chip away at it. So we're excited. How have, how have you been able to stay positive? You know, losing your mom is a, that's a huge loss. Uh, I lost my mom in 2017 and I lost my husband in 2018. And it was just the terrible two years. Absolutely. And, uh, the two most important people in my life. And I know that, you know, the babies help. That is definitely true. Uh, and working helps. Yeah. But uh, I also think taking care of ourselves is helping me. I, I am doing a lot of online exercise classes now. Awesome. And I think just doing these walks and staying active. I mean, have you found that? I have. I, I probably have uh, been become more aware of the importance of self-care in the last six, seven months. And I've really enjoyed walking. I'm walking with my neighbors. We're chatting more. We're all outside. I had to take off the bicycle and put on the helmet, and it's just a lot of fun. I, it's fun. It's a way to connect with neighbors that I hadn't connected with before, but it's also a healthy thing to do to keep our immune systems strong and, and all of that. So anyway, I just feel like I'm connecting in many ways, and another is just keeping keeping up with my, my own self-care. So, yeah, no, that's so important. And, you know, uh, I remember when Amy told me about you, cause she was saying, this is one of our newer PFF ambassadors. And I said, okay, well, who is this woman, Stephanie Golden? She said, she's a dynamo and she's gorgeous. <laughs> and, and she said, oh, you got to meet her. You got to meet her. So I, I, I think this is so great. I'm, we're so grateful to you and your family Thank and you. honoring your your beautiful mom Olga. Yes. Team Olga is beautiful. There, let's see. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. Yes. Never met a stranger. Look at this. Look. Uh, that we did a couple weeks ago uh in honor of course of uh pulmonary fibrosis found uh, awareness month and yes. These are some of those lovely people that I was talking about. And they all joined up with me just before dusk and, you know, donned the masks and held up the sign. And then they all, they all agreed to light up the night with blue. So we had our blue lights going. That is so Great. beautiful and so, yeah. it's That's hard. Beautiful. What, sweetheart? They've agreed to walk with me. We're going to walk the, the subdivision in honor well, of fibrosis. I love the idea of the blue lights and it would be wonderful. If, wouldn't it be amazing if across the country one yeah. night, we, we all across the country in all different cities put on our blue lights. It, 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 it would be quite extraordinary. Uh -huh. So that's something creative that I'm going to remember that Stephanie <laughs> and, and maybe we can make that an even bigger situation. I would love that. The blue wave, the inspirational blue wave. Exactly. Yes. 
one at a time. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, thank you. Mary Kinsky says, great work, Stephanie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's my friend, Mary. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mary. I, I miss you. <laughs> we're so, so happy and so pleased you're part of the, the, this community. You know, thank we're all part of a community that we ne didn't necessarily want to be a part of. Right. But this is a way to make it better. And we're going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to beat this. Yes, we are. We're yes. going to beat this. So. I believe I have a little bit. All right, Thank I'm ready. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much, Stephanie. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. You too, dear. I like that idea of the blue light, Amy. I really Isn't it cool? On that, to get like a national blue light day or something, that would be so amazing. Yeah, we had quite a few buildings go blue in September for Pulmonary Fibrosis Awareness Month. So um, you can see those on our Facebook page, on our social media channels to see um, what what went blue in your area. I know Willis Tower went blue the same day as our Chicago Walk, which is really cool. So we uh, are at, in a bit of a transition right now. We're wondering if we have any comments or engagements that we haven't been able to talk about yet. Do we know? Um, that uh what's going on amy well, i'm not aware of these engagements or, or comments <laughs> so we had um we've had some crazy fundraising stuff go on uh okay. that we that is just like spiraling which is so so cool so as a refresher, our friend Scott from the PFF threw up a $500 match. And then my friend Patricia Fox jumped in and matched it right then and there, ready to go. And then our friend Sam, um, who's an ambassador in the DC area said, I'm gonna do one too. And I think we have a thermometer of where we are on that $500 match. So oh. we're almost there. Oh. Um, I am hearing from my team, I'm watching them on the side in the comments. It looks like that thermometer is already out of date. We are at $467 towards a $500 match. So we well, are like literally right there. Well, can um, I can I put in $100? Julie? Yeah, I can put so in $100. Nice I'll donate oh, $100 to pffwalk.org. It would be my pleasure. So that'll be over. That'll push us over. That pushes us over. And if you still want to support, you can go to donate. Uh, you can go donate at pffwalk.org. Um, we still have quite a ways to go. But Julie, what's super exciting is we're at 81% of our goal now. That's a whole percentage point. Okay. Okay. That's now, so great. We, and we obviously, we still have some more time because we also have something that's coming up on our calendars that I think you want to tell people about. We do. So, oh, Sam, thank you. Sam just added his $500 match to his fundraiser. Yes. And when he's at, I went and I looked. He has raised more than $5,000 already, which is so great. Um, and what I love about who we heard from in terms of fundraising is we heard these different stories, right? Yes. And really what I want to say about that is everyone makes an impact. Whether you're raising $65,000, whether you're raising about $15,000 or whether you're raising $100 to earn our PFF Walk t-shirt um, or $1,000 to raise one, to earn one of these, just saying. Yeah, um, I, and there's hats. There's, there's hats, hats. There's water bottles. I just yeah. happen to have it in my office. <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> welcome to my home office. I will um, say though, this is, this, I love this. I am fun, crazy it? for it. I'm telling you, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's really cute. So it looks so good with leggings, but mm -hmm. um, honestly, you're absolutely right. And we are so excited that we have something that's coming up in November. We do. So we've had so much fun. I hope you've had so much fun today that we want to celebrate with you. Um, think of this as our midstream program, since we know that Chicago and San Francisco already happened. Community is this weekend. We still have DC and Dallas coming up. So yes, we want to celebrate together our $650,000 fundraising goals. Mark your calendars for the PFF Walk celebration party. It's a party. It's basically it a party. So what does that mean? 4 p.m. P, that, that means um, 5 p.m. 
uh, Eastern Standard Time, which means you can have an adult beverage. Uh, and then, of course, that means two o'clock uh, Pacific Time, three o'clock Mountain Time, four o'clock Central Time, five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And it's going to be a party. I mean, we might just get up and dance, Amy. And we, yes, and we have, we have entertainment is going to be part of this. And my dear, dear friend, who's an incredible vocalist and pianist, um, a lot of you know him from my show, but he's a huge star here in New York, but a lot of people know him and he's from Dallas, Texas. Well, actually he's from Sugarland, I believe. Oh. Um, Billy Stritch, I think we have a, uh, there he is. There's Billy Stritch. Yeah, he's fantastic. But guess what? We've got more. Billy uh, is going to be doing, I believe, a duet with a very big star. I cannot announce it yet. We're just going to tease you. We're going to tease you. But we're going to have that entertainment on November 7th. It's going to be sensational. I'll be there, of course. You'll be there. But it's going to be really, really fun. It's and going to be so fun. I'm really excited about it because it's it's also going to be a way of thanking everyone for this. You know, this has been a very tough year, mm -hmm. and people have really come through for us. So it's going to be a thank you as well. It is. Yeah. And we're so excited. It's it's this opportunity to um, thank everyone for their support and celebrate our accomplishments together because we know that with your help, we are going to get to our $650,000 fundraising goal this year. So I think we have thanked a lot of our sponsors, but we would also like to, um, oh, uh, Trisha just donated a hundred dollars. Okay. Hey, Trisha. So we did actually, you know, we got past our, our match. So that's fantastic. And do we, what, I think we want to thank you, Novo Construction, San Francisco Bronze Sponsor. I have to say, I'm so impressed with San Francisco after everything that they have gone through. And they are just so amazing that they have come through in such a big way. Thank you to our Dallas sponsor. That was, can you put that up again, Ruby? That was the Southwestern Medical Center. Thank you yeah. so much. So thank we have just some really incredibly generous sponsors that I'd like to take a moment to thank. Yes, um, and I have a cheat sheet too, because we have so many of them, which is yes, amazing. We do. So I first and foremost want to thank our national presenting sponsor, Genentech. We're so thankful to have you. Thank you to our national gold sponsor, Beringer Ingelheim. Thank you to our national silver sponsor, Appliant Therapeutics. Our national silver sponsor, Alliance RX, Walgreens Prime. Our national bronze sponsor, Fibrogen. Our national bronze sponsor, Verisite. Our New York City platinum sponsor, the one and only Hales Family Foundation, Mr. Terrence Hales. Um, a, our New York City gold sponsor, Montefiore Medical Center. Our Chicago gold sponsor, Northwestern Medicine, which is right down the block from our office. Um, our Chicago Silver sponsor, the Atwell Robbins family. We saw them earlier. They're the ones that are dancing, so go view their video. Um, our Chicago Silver sponsor, Bill Berry. Our Chicago Silver sponsor, Stoltine. Um, our San Francisco Silver sponsor, the University of California, San Francisco. Um, our Chicago Bronze sponsor, Mesro Financial. Our Chicago Bronze sponsor, Draper and Kramer. Our Chicago Bronze sponsor, Figulio and Silverman. Our San Francisco Bronze sponsor, Novo Construction. Our San Francisco Bronze sponsor, uh, Skyline Construction. And then our Dallas Bronze sponsor, UT Southwestern Medicine. Fantastic. It, it makes such a difference, such a difference. Uh, these, these companies, these, uh, medical situations, the construction, um, You're welcome, it's Patricia. just incredible. And Patricia Fox, I love that. I'm absolutely obsessed with that photo, that, that dog with the, with the thing around. Wait, can we see that one more time? I want to know about Patricia Fox's dog. That's just the cutest. That's just the cutest. My cats have made an appearance. They may be running around it at one point. But Amy, this was really fantastic. 
Oh, it's uh, Sweet Pea. Hello, oh, it's Sweet Pea. That's who that is. Well, Sweet Pea is delicious. Thank you, Patricia, so much for everything. And I want to thank everyone. Amy, I, I think we're going to make that goal. I think uh, so. One more time, pffwalk.org. I'd like to also thank, there we are. I'd also like to thank our wonderful and extraordinary technical director, Ruby Lochnar. Can she make an appearance? Ruby, sure. can you make an appearance? Ruby keeps me sure together. I can. I was in there producing you are. Mode. <laughs> she's the she's the wizard behind the curtain. She's like the Wizard of Oz. Yes. So well, it's just been absolutely amazing to kind of get to be behind the scenes for this whole thing and seeing everybody's comments coming in and their donations. It just keeps me so inspired. Um, so thank you all for letting me be a part of this and letting me kind of come into your, you know, tight knit community um, because now I'm just as invested. Thank you, honey. Thanks, thank you so much. Thank you. Amy, do we have any other further things that we need? I think to we have one more picture. I think I was getting it in real time. It was coming through my cell phone. Ah, oh, Julie, do you want to know who that is? Wait, wait. Is that, wait, is that it someone was, from, from Atlanta? Uh, it's no. someone on our team. Oh, wait. It's someone who was texting me. It's someone who's tech, is it, it's not Todd. No, no. on our PFF team, he works for PFF. Oh, oh, it's, he works for PFF. Wow, wait a minute. Is it, it's not Bill. It's, it's Scott. Not, it's Scott? It's Scott, so. He was a towhead. <laughs> he was a blonde. Oh my goodness. So it's oh, Scott. Scott. So he's adorable. Scott is the one that threw up the $500 match. So he wanted to send in a picture of his mom, which he did it for, which is just so sweet. So, um, and that's just such a wonderful reminder. Please, please, please continue to send us your photos, your videos, your stories. We wanna continue to connect with you in this virtual environment. So if you have them, email them to pffwalk at pulmonaryfibrosis.org. We wanna see you all. Um, and Julie, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to you. You are amazing and um, you save our life all the time. Anytime I pick up the phone, Julie always answers or always gets back to me or says, I'm running around getting eyelashes, I'll call you right back. Um, <laughs> and just does such incredible work for us. And not only is she a fundraiser and a board member, she's just such a kind and energetic spirit. And we're so lucky to have you on our team. Thank you. It's my honor. It's my privilege and, and pleasure. So thank you, Amy. Thank you, everyone. What a what a moving way to, to, to start my weekend, really. Good. Thank you all. Good. We will see you November 7th. Mark yes. your calendars. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.